this segment is the interview session na tuko na mgeni ndani ya nyumba nitakuwa nampatia nafasi aweze kuji introduce atuambie yeye ni nani ametokea wapi kwangu mimi namjua kama Mr Finance today is money monday and we are talking about money how to save money how to pay tax and we did at ama tuko tuna discuss about finance as a general topic tuweze kujua ni nini haswa kiko ndani ya finance ama ukisikia jina finance unasikiza nini ama nini inakuja kwa akili yako lakini kabla sija introduce mgeni wetu ningependa tukaweze kuchezewa kanda ya Nakuru College of Commerce and Hospitality Nakuru College of Commerce and Hospitality is a state of the art school offering holistic education from artisan levels to advanced diploma. We offer courses in food and beverage production, catering and accommodation, pastry and baking, culinary arts, tour guiding and operation, tourism management, tourism and business management, fashion and design from artisan level to higher diploma, sales and marketing, banking and finance, accountancy, business management, ICT, CPA courses, hairdressing and beauty therapy, cosmetology, electrical engineering and installation. We have short courses like public relations, event management, entrepreneurship, interior decorations. We also offer languages like Spanish, German, French and Chinese. Our examining bodies are NEC, ICM, CAST neb nita kism we also have hostels for those coming from distant places for more information or inquiries visit us at equator house first floor kenyatta lane nakuru or call us on 0727 4246 or 0721 or email at info at nakuru college dot ac dot ke or visit our website at www.nakurucollege.ac.ke Nakuru College of Commerce and Hospitality defining a culture of professional excellence that is Nakuru College of Commerce and Hospitality we are tunakwambia ufike pale kama mwanafunzi weze kuchagua ni course ipi utakuwa una Unaweza kuchagulia uweze kusoma uone itakusaidia vipi katika maisha. Naam. Welcome to our interview section na leo niko na mgeni anaitwa Joseph Kanani. Atakuwa anatuambia anaitwa nani kwa sababu mimi namjua kama Mr. Finance. Welcome sir. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. thank you for keeping time. Thank you. Yeah, na nashukuru sana kwa kwa kuweza kukubali ama kukubali mwito wetu kuja okay. kuongezea kuongelea about finance the other day we called but kukawa na miscommunication kidogo lakini asante sana kwa kukubali mtu wetu uh, ujambo yes. mtazo mati yes. uh, as you said my yes. name is Joseph Kanani yes and i have a background in finance mm -hmm. and accounting yes and i also specialize in tax issues and mimi ni mkazi wa Nakuru yes. so at least uh uh, it's, a, it's an honor to be on your platform to, to be able to discuss this issue. Okay. Yeah. Okay, fine. Now, uh, we get to a little bit history of who you are. Najua hii Nakuru. Ni Nakuru ni kuja kikazi ama ni matembezi ama ama ni nyumbani? Uh, tuseme Nakuru ni mekuja kikazi. Yes. Uh, I've been in Nairobi for, for, for many years. Although yes. siku somea, siku zaliwa huko. Yeah. Uh, nilisomea Nyandarwa uh, province yeah alafu nikaenda Eldoret that yeah. is more university yeah then si kila mtu akitoka university anaenda ku hustle yeah unaenda ku hustle yes nika hustle Nairobi for yeah. for many years maybe 10 or so yeah then when an opportunity arose to come to Nakuru mm -hmm. Nakuza and when i compared the life between Nakuru and Nairobi mm -hmm. kaona fadhali ya uh, Nakuru yeah as in uh, in terms of traffic jams, yeah. uh, maisha kuwa expensive, yes. nini nini. Uh, Nakuru is much more blessed. <laughs> <laughs> so that is why um, I, I chose to remain here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you have talked about finance. Okay, for the person who is listening or watching 
uh, from home can you please tell us what is finance aweze kujua unajua wakali wakisikia tukiongelea kuhusu finance mm. wengi wanafikiria sasa hiyo ni kulipa tax tukiongelea okay. kuhusu finance what comes in their mind is about paying tax so tell us what is finance uh, finance yeah. is very very broad yeah and i would say it's it's the one thing yeah that every other professional or every other person yeah is connected to yes so kama ingekuwa gurudumu ya kama bicycle yeah kale ka kitu kanakonga pale katika katikati yeah hiyo ndio finance sasa yeah because fikiria hivi mm-hmm. ukiwa <coughs> daktari yes. and you're doing your work as a as a business yes. as a professional clinic so at the end of the day what are you looking for yeah. pesa ni pesa ukiwa yeah. engineer unatafuta nini pesa, pesa. ukiwa politician ukiwa whatever you are yeah. ukiwa hata farmer uh, uh, even most people right now if you ask if you take 10 people na waulize mm-hmm. shida yako ni nini 9 out of 10 watakwambia ni pesa ni pesa so, yeah. basically finance is money and everything else yeah. that encompasses money so hapo kuna accounting kuna mambo ya auditing kuna mambo ya cost accounting kuna mambo ya taxation there are so many things in finance yeah yeah Okay now uh, kwa vile umetuambia tax uh, finance it covers a very broad area ama a very broad section na uh, tungependa sana unajua tunaongelea about money uh, these economy sai watu wanalia maisha imefanda ya maisha imefanda juu now tell us on how to spend money uh, watu wakiwa nyumbani pesa ile kidogo wako nayo hai bado hai haiwafiki ama haiwaridishi bado sasa ni vipi mtu atatumia pesa ila ako nayo kuona ya kwamba anaweza kujikimkia maisha na how to spend the money na uh, that is a very very good question yes. na swali yenye yeah. uh, unfortunately haina ngajibu yeah. na reason kwa nini haina jibu mm-hmm. kwa sababu tuseme kama uko na familia na uko na mshahara mm-hmm. na hiyo mshahara kiwango yake unajua tuseme ni 1000 yes na unalipa nyumba maybe shilingi 2000 yes. lazima ulipe karo ya shule lazima yeah. ununue unga mm-hmm. lazima ufanye hizo vitu zenye unafaa kufanya ndio wewe na familia mjikimu yeah. siwezi kuambia ati hizo pesa uzitumie kwa nje nyingine isipokuwa yenye already unaitumia mm-hmm. kujikimu una lazima ulipe rent yeah. usipolipa utafukuzwa lazima ununue unga usipofanya hivyo uta i mean uta, utalala nza mm-hmm. sasa tunaingilia hapa one yeah. hii kiwango ya pesa yenu unapata yes. kuna vile unaweza iongeza mm-hmm. are there ways that you can make more money sio lazima ati when ungoze miaka ya promotion yeah. ukipata promotion uongezewe mshahara yes. kuna njia zingine zenye unaweza pata hiyo yeah. uh, uongeze kiwango ya pesa yenu unapata mm-hmm. kitu cha pili haya matumizi yako kuna vile unaweza yapanga mm-hmm. ndio one uh, ipungue or, ama two yeah. uh, utoe ile the unnecessary spending mm-hmm. unaona kuna yeah. watu labda wana wakikuja town lazima wakutane na marafiki yes, na wakuje yes. tai mahali kwa hoteli yeah. na tumia shilingi 200 kila siku mm-hmm. kuna watu lazima kila friday aende mahali kwa joint apatiwe mbili za kwenda nyumbani mm-hmm. kuna watu lazima wakule pizza every now and then yes. so hii matumizi yenye sio ya lazima sio ya lazima kwa kizungu tunasema it's not a basic need yeah. kuna vile unaweza ipunguza ndio ile kiwango yenye uko nayo yeah. itoshe yes. at the same time ile pesa unapata uh, watu huziita side hustle side hustle yeah. ama ma, uh, min, binu zenye zinaweza kusaidia kupata pesa zaidi ya yenye unapata yeah. kama ni mshahara ama kama uko kwa uh, mjengo mm-hmm. kuna ile pesa unapata unaweza aje ongeza hicho kiwango yeah. na pia punguza ile yenye unatumia ndio mm-hmm. itoshe so basically the first instinct for everyone or even for even animals ni yes. survive ni ku survive ya ukisha ukisha survive at your comfortable sasa unaweza fikiria mm-hmm. bila uta drive uta, uta, uta succeed uta succeed yeah. utakuwa mm-hmm. na mapato zaidi biashara na mambo kama hiyo yeah. yeah. na pia utapata kwamba upande wa kuspend pesa you will find that uh, we have uh, many people who say ama wanasema kwamba wacha mimi nitumie hii yenye niko nayo leo ya kesho Mungu ataleta how do you deal with that kwa sababu we have some people the young generation wanasema 
wacha sisi tupige sherehe ya kesho itacheleka <laughs> <laughs> about that a uh, watu unaweza ku advise aje kwa sababu with this economy yeah. uh, hata pia president anasema kwamba tuweze kuwa na ile ile yeah. moyo mentality ya kuwekeza pesa yeah. Yeah. so how do you encourage the youth pia waweze kuona kwamba wanawekeza pesa zao na waziwekeze wapi wafanya home, home banking ama wafanya ile ya kuweka pesa kwa bank na hiyo yeah. ni swali mzuri sana yes. kwa sababu watu wakiwa vijana hata yeah. wewe ni kijana sasa yes. hizo yeah. uh, kuna vitu kadhaa kwanza vijana hawa wanakuanga let they have hardened their minds yeah. like Kenya najua hata kikuambiwa yeah. yeah. na inakuanga shida sana kwa sababu akiwa kijana anaona ni kama atakuwa kijana for the rest yeah. of their life yes, yes. haoni uzeni haoni mm-hmm. <laughs> miaka inaendelea yeah na pia uh, ni biblia imesema yeah. tutafute lesson so let's learn from an ant yeah, yeah. it's a small animal or it's a very it's, a, it's an insect very small but when it is sunny inajua kwenda kujitafutia mm-hmm. na kuweka yeah. so that when it is cold ama kuna nyesha yeah. it's comfortable wherever it is mm-hmm. kwa sababu inajua hata kukae kunyesha ama kukue kubaya aje for maybe the next few weeks yes. itakuwa safe mm-hmm. uh, also learning from the bible you remember the story of joseph joseph yeah yeah i was expecting kuja kwa hiyo kwa sababu <laughs> pia nilikuwa na a very a short story about joseph in the bible yeah. kwa sababu the other time i heard something about joseph the dreamer joseph the tax payer yes. na sikuweza kuelewa zaidi ni vyema sana unazungumzia yeah mm-hmm. joseph yeah. and i am glad niliitwa kama yeye kwa yes. sababu uh, he, he, he alikuwa uh, tunajua hadithi yake yes. he was sold as a slave by his brothers uh, akaenda Egypt mm-hmm. uh, where he met the pharaoh but he had favor because yeah. um, alikuwa mtu wa Mungu yes and he was wise yeah and he rose up to the ranks to become a governor na reason apate hivyo ni kwa sababu um, para wao siko alikuwa amepata ndoto mm-hmm. na ni Joseph pekee aliweza ku, kuitafsiri, uh, kuitafsiri. Yes. ati kutakuwa na miaka saba ya plenty mm-hmm. everything grains uh, ngombe zitakuwa zikizaa vizuri yes. mashamba itakuwa ikitoa nini vizuri yes. and then there'll be another seven years of drought drought yeah wakati kila kitu itakuwa uh, mashamba haizai mm-hmm. uh, mifugo inakufa and everything yes. so it was that wisdom yenye aliona hizi miaka za plenty yeah wacha tusitumie Kenya tunapata iishe mm-hmm. because wangesema kama tumevuna ngano yeah. wacha tukule yote iishe kama tumekamua ngombe ama tumepata mazao ya ndama wacha tuzifanye zote biashara ziishe yeah. but what they did and upon your taxation i think ilianza yeah. Joseph alikuwa na jukumu la ku make sure ati wana wa Egypt watakuwa na chakula ile miaka saba ya ukame So hii miaka yenye walikuwa wanapata yeah. alikuwa kila mtu aki, akivuna ama akipata mazao yeah. anachukua kiwango fulani mm-hmm. anapeleka kwa the storehouses yes. yes. zilikuwa zinaweka hiyo chakula yes. and that is how they were able to even feed the other nations kwa sababu mm-hmm. unakumbuka ndio hata ndugu wake wakuja Egypt yeah. walikuja kwa sababu ya nja mahali yes. walikuwa yes. na walikuwa wanajua Egypt ndio kuna chakula kuna chakula yes. so hiyo ni somo ati not even the youth hata sisi yes yes tunakuanga na hizo period kuna wakati utakuwa biashara yako inaenda vizuri sana mm. mambo yako inaenda vizuri sana yes but pia kutakuwa na wakati mambo, mambo yako ya. inakauka yeah biashara inakauka yeah. so kama haukutumia hizi miaka yeah. ya plenty kufanya nini Ku, kuweka akiba yeah. Yeah, kwa, kwa sababu hizi miaka zenye ukame itakuwa yes then lazima uta, uta utaangamia mm-hmm. na The other thing is ndio kuna kuanga na na, na facilities especially banks insurance companies and all that yes they give us option when we have the money mm-hmm. to save for a future period when we don't know what will happen yeah kama kuna life insurance policies yes unasema wacha ni kweni kiweka 2000 uh, kila mwezi mahali yes ndio baada ya miaka 10 ama miaka 14 mm-hmm ni tutapata hiyo pesa ikiwa kwa jumla yes. na kama watoto wangu watakuwa wamefika akiwa ya kwenda shule mm-hmm. itapata kare ya kuwasomesha ya kuwasomesha yes. e, lakini ukikuwa ati unapata unakula unangoja Mungu uh, 
Sidhani hiyo ni haki. Yes, for the youth you have heard about that. Let's embrace the saving culture. Tupate kwamba tunajipanga maisha ya maisha ya usoni pia unajipanga leo. Uweze kujua maisha ya kesho itakuwa vipi. Inalingana vile utajipanga. Now kwa sababu tunaongea about money, we have those people who have businesses. Yes. We have companies. Yes. And we also have to pay tax. Yes. Yeah, as a nation hata pia president anatuambia kwamba tuweze kulipa tax, tuweze kujitegemea. Yes. So, can you please tell us what is tax and or tell us the difference between taxation and tax? Okay. Yeah. Now, uh, there is a very interesting story yeah. uh, that I'll tell you. Yes. Tambo sana like uh, those who watch movies, you see the movies, uh, we call them epic. Nyakati za kitambo. Yes. Before civilization. Mm -hmm. na people had already formed groupings. Like, unapata, unaenda hapo, unapata kijiji ya watu. Yeah. Unaenda mahali unapata kijiji ya watu. Yes. Wengine wako karibu na mto, they are fishermen. Mm -hmm. Wengine wako kwa mahali, kuna mashamba, yes. they are farmers. Yeah. Wengine maybe wako kwa desert na camels, they are on your transport as well goods and services. Yeah. Lakini kulikuwa na watu wenye hawaku wanataka kuchoka. Yeah. Walikuwa naitua bandits. Bandits. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so bandits walikuwa wanakuja, wanakuta mm -hmm. iki jiji enye ni ya watu wa fishing. Yeah. Wanakuja wa, because they, they have, they have weapons, they, they have, you know, they have made their trade. Uh, they, wame wakumakuwa na uzoefu wa kuiba. Yeah. So they come attack you at night ama wakati your least expecting they steal all your products, your product, they destroy yeah. your houses, they move on. Wanaenda kwa kijiji ingine, yeah. wanapanya hivyo. Yeah. So, ndiyo siku moza, awa wanavizizi wakasema, awa watu badala ya, wao kukuja kila wakati, kila wakati. wanatu haribia mali, wanatu nini. Mm -hmm. Situ walipe pesa kidogo ya protection. Mm -hmm. Instead, wakuja watu ibie, yes. they protect us from other bandits. So, ndiyo wakaenda wakambia wawezi, badala ya mkuja mtu ibie kila sa. Si wata tuki vua samaki, mm -hmm. tunawapatia kiwango kilo. fulani. Yeah. Awa wengine wakambia tukilima, tunawapatia kiwango fulani. Awa wengine wakambia tukifanya hii kibiashara yetu, tunawapatia mm -hmm. kiwango fulani. Lakini, from that story, hiyo kulipa kiwango kidogo, hiyo siyo kama tusena sasa ni, ni kulipa Ushuru. like ni corruption. Like, ah. natuwa kitu kidogo ndewezo kunipatia service plan. Naam, mm -hmm. na hivyo, mm -hmm. ndivyo hivyo, it's the hard truth yeah. that the government that we have today yeah. is a representation of the bandits <laughs> that we had those days. <laughs> Na lazima yeah. tu walipe kitu kidogo. Uh, tu lipe kitu kidogo, ya. Yeah. Or rather, saizi yata inakonga kitu kubwa mm -hmm. because if you earn 10 shillings, you have to give them 3 shillings. Yes. Hiyo <laughs> si kitu kidogo. Mm -hmm. So, na hapo ndiyo hiyo uh, sasa civilization and taxation zilianza kuingiana. Mm -hmm. Ati, hawa wenye wanavua samaki kuna kitu wanapatia hawa wenye wanawagava yes in the name of protection and everything mm -hmm. na pia sasa wakaanza uh, tutawazengea barabara ndiyo mkwe mkivuwa samaki mnatikisha kwa soko vizuri yes yes uh, tutawafanyia hii na hii so it's the same thing that happens today that yes, yes. when the subjects of a nation pay taxes to the authorities yeah then the authorities Provide protection. Provide protection. Yes. Now what we call uh, yeah. infrastructure. Infrastructure, yes. Uh, amenity, social amenities mm -hmm. like schools and hospitals and all that. Yeah. So that is how taxation started. Yeah. So to the same taxation is that process of the subject paying an amount of their earnings yeah. to the governing group. Yeah. So tax now is that amount that is paid. Yes. That levy whatever percentage it is, ama yeah. whatever uh, calculation is used to get it, yo sasa yenye melipua yo tax. So, in short, tax can be a levy. Ah. Uh, kwa sababu, ni ulize hivyo, mm. kwa sababu, uh, kwa tika agenda za serikali, yes. walituambia kwamba there will be a housing levy. Yes. Na watu wakasema kwamba, huenda pia itakuwa ni tax. But, can you please tell us the difference between a tax and a levy? Ili waweze kujua, wajua kwa umakini sana. Yes. Okay, I think uh, basically a tax mm -hmm. is charged on an income. Yeah. Like, yeah. lazima ukue umepata mapato. Yes. Ndiyo, uplipe tax. Mm -hmm. So, kumanisha kama upati mapato. Yes. Uh, huwezi lipa, haufai kulipa tax. Yeah. Pia, tax ikona 
na, na percentages kama sasa watu nasema kama unapata kutoka 24000 mm-hmm. ndio unaanza kulipa 10%, 10%. Yeah. kama we ni mwanabiashara kuna ile wanaita turnover tax yeah. kuna lipa 3% ya zile mauzo umefanya mm-hmm. kama uko na nyumba za kukondisha kuna hiyo percentage so it's an, an income inakuja una yeah. ina inalipwa tax levies on the other hand ni charges zenye serikali inaitisha yeah. wakati unataka services zao okay you know? yeah. like uh, sometimes inaitwa pia duties kama sasa ukitaka ku transfer shamba yeah. kuna stamp duty yenye lazima ulipe serikali ukitaka certificate ukisema kama uh, birth certificate ama yes. death certificate kuna yes. zile charges zenye wanaitisha kwa sababu ya hiyo service mm-hmm. ama ukitaka kutengeneza kampuni yes unaona hapo hakuna income imeingia lakini mm-hmm. kwa sababu ya hiyo service mm-hmm. so kuna hii yenye umeguzia uh, yenye unaita housing levy housing levy yeah. na tumesikia uh, maoni ya watu wengi mm-hmm. wakati wa finance uh, bill yes. ya 2023 yes na ilikuwa inafaa kuwa levy lakini ilibadilika ikakuwa tax tax yeah na ikakuwa tax moja yenye as in in english would say it is unprecedented in kenya mm-hmm. because how it works is that the employee pays a tax of 1.5% yeah. and the employer pays an equal amount equal amount yeah. yenye amelipa so in total serikali inapata 3% mm-hmm. uh, ikianza ilikuwa ina explainiwa at uh, tukilipa hiyo levy hiyo yeah. ya 3% yeah. itawekwa kwa fund yenye itasaidia serikali kujenga manyumba mm-hmm. alafu itallocate hizo manyumba kwa uh, watu kulingana I, i don't know what criteria they were to use but mm-hmm. walikuwa nafa wawapatie lakini baadaye ikabadilisha ikasema mm-hmm. this money will be put in the consolidated fund mm-hmm. with other taxes yes. for general development development yeah. Yeah. so kumaanisha ni lev as in if we were to really ask ourselves if it's a levy or a tax yeah. the correct answer is that it is a tax it is a tax yeah. yes na sio lazima upate nyumba kwa sababu mm-hmm. sasa wakati barabara zinajengwa itatumika yeah. wakati subsidy zinapatiana na serikali itatumika yeah. wakati mishahara inalipwa they'll still use that money yeah. Yeah. and also in our, in our economy tumeona kwamba kuna baadhi we have some companies that have pending bill Yes. nasikia kwamba kuna kampuni fulani iko na pending bill ya wadi 4 billion yeah. 215 million shillings yeah. large amount of money how can this company ama zitakuwa what procedures should they use because sababu hizo pesa ni nyingi sana na hizo yeah. pesa zingeweza kutusaidia sana as a nation kwa sababu utapata kwamba yule mfanyabiashara wa chini yeye anakujiwa pesa yake yeah. ya kulipa tax kila siku every friday anakujua or every monday anakujua kulipa tax so for the this large company big companies ni vipi pia hao tuone ya kwamba wanaweza kulipa madeni ama kulipa tax yao vizuri kusiweze kuwa na shida kwa sababu hizo madeni pia ni kubwa sana na huenda zikakuwa zinatusaidia mahali pia as a country na yeah. sasa uh, pending bills zinakuja yeah. wakati mm-hmm. kampuni imepatiwa tender yeah. uh, na na serikali ama serikali ndogo yeah. uh, the county yeah. uh, either kujenga barabara mm-hmm. tengeneza vitu fulani yeah. kusupply vitu kwa mm-hmm. wizara fulani yes. uh, na hizo sub- na watu wengi pia individuals wenye wa, na kampuni yeah. wamefanya hizo kazi yeah. so kama tuseme mfano tu na Kuru County nimekupatia yeah. tender nimekwambia jenga hii barabara kutoka hapa mpaka yeah. mahali fulani mm-hmm. na kwa hizo contract documents imesemekana hiyo barabara utalipwa 10 million yes. ama pesa yenye makubaliano mm-hmm. na inafika wakati wa kulipwa haujalipo mm-hmm. sa na, na inafika wakati county maybe imemaliza mwaka yake kwa sababu yeah. tunajua serikali kila June that is June inamaliza mwaka ila yeah. inaanza yes. na inafika hiyo wakati na county bado ama serikali ama wizara fulani mm-hmm. ama parastatal haijakulipa yeah. so na inakuwa hivyo kwa makampuni mingi sana yeah. watu wengi sana ndio unapata ile pesa yenye serikali haijalipa wana biashara yeah. inakuwa mingi yes. hizo pending bills mm-hmm. uh, sababu moja nitasema ya pending bills ni corruption mm-hmm. kwa sababu inafaa kuwa hivyo 
tuseme wewe ni serikali yeah. na mimi ni mwanabiashara yeah. unataka barabara fulani itengenezwe itengenezwe yeah. kawaida kabla na ndio wanasomanga budget of the beginning of every year yes. kabla any expenditure ifanywe yes. lazima kuwe na budget yake mm-hmm. okay hii barabara inahitaji 10 million yes na lazima hiyo wizara ama ile shirika inahusika na hiyo barabara yeah. ipatiwe hiyo pesa hii ni pesa ya kutengeneza hii barabara hii barabara ya yeah. so kumaanisha sasa ha, ile shirika ama wizara yenye inafanya hiyo kazi ishapatiwa yeah. pesa kwa yes. budget yes. it has been allocated the money mm-hmm. so now it looks for me the contractor to do that work yeah. so inafaa nikimaliza hii kazi kwa sababu pesa already ishapatiano mm-hmm. ilifanya nini nilipo yeah. lakini kwa sababu ya corruption hii pesa ilikuwa inaingia kwa wizara ama kwa shirika yenye inafaa kufanya hiyo kazi alafu ina inapata miguu inapata njia zingine za kwenda. Yeah. Wewe kama mwanabiashara ama mwenye amefanya hiyo contract unabaki yeah. kama hujapewa. Lakini uh, right now serikali inatumia uh, system inaitwa IMFMIS, yeah. Integrated Financial Management and Information System. Yeah. Such that hata ndio upatiwe tender au upatiwe contract mm-hmm. lazima documents zako zipitie kwa hiyo system. Mm-hmm. Na ndio hiyo system sasa pesa zitoke pesa pia zitatoka kwa hiyo system. So hiyo system itaweza kukuambia vizuri kama hiyo pesa imeenda kwa huyo mwenye alipata contract mm-hmm. ama imetumika kwa njia zingine. Yeah. So tuna hope tukienda in future hii mambo ya pending bills haitakuwa. Yeah. But as at right now kuna pending bills mingi sana pia. Mm-hmm. Na mimi tunaweza himiza wanabiashara ama wenye wako nazo waendelee ku uh, ku kufuata kama yeah. ni kaunti ama hizo mashirika. Yeah. Na pia ku lodge complaint. Tunaweza enda kotini, tunaweza tafuta wakili kama as long as uko na documents and everything. Na pia maybe court inaweza rahisisha ama uh, fasten hiyo process ya kulipa yeah, pesa kulipa yeah. pesa. Na no. and another thing about now the small business, businesses yeah. utapata kwamba ule mfanyabiashara wa chini uh, analipa tax analipa rent but he or she is not making profit how should he or she make stay on that lane ya kwamba pia akifanya biashara mm. anapata that small profit hata kama itakuwa inamsaidia kwa sababu analipa tax yeah. na bado analipa, analipa rent na anaona kwamba hapati kitu how do you advise him or her Okay, one yeah. before yeah. even we go to the small tax man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh system ya Kenya ya compliance mm-hmm. in kwanza ngumu sana. Mm-hmm. Compared to other countries, yeah. Ndio upate uanze biashara. Yes. Uh, lazima kwanza u register your company, mm-hmm. uende kwa county government upate li- uh, trading license. Yeah. Uh, kama biashara yako iko kwa sector ya chakula, lazima uende upate compliance ya health. Yeah. Uh, na watu pia wanafanya manufacturing before you start that business yes. the processes zitakuwa mingi sana mm-hmm. and the cost itakuwa mingi Ita sana, mingi sana yeah. second thing uh, vile umesema wana biashara yes tumekuwa na hizo hard times that mm-hmm. yeah. unafanya biashara lazima ulipe hizo expenses kama rent yeah. na tax lakini hautengenezi profit hautengenezi yeah. profit yeah. na hapo ndiyo it why sasa mtu ajue namna ya to avoid taxes yeah. legally legally yeah. kitu inaitangwa tax avoidance yeah. kuna ma- mara mbili ya tax uh, unaweza uh, uh, kosa kulipa tax yeah. kuna tax evasion mm-hmm. enye unajua unafaa kulipa hii amount ya tax yes lakini umekataa hiyo hata ukishikwa sheria unafaa ufungwe mm-hmm. ama ulipe fine yeah. lafu kuna tax avoidance yeah. unajua kuna hii tax na va, na nafaa kulipa but na avoid Mm-hmm. Kama sasa naweza eleza wanabiashara kuna hii tax ime introduceiwa inaitwa turnover tax turnover tax yeah. it's 3% of your gross sales mm-hmm. at leo umefungua mkahawa wako uh, at the end of the day ume make sales za 10000 yes so hiyo 10000 unatoa 3% mm-hmm. yani kama 300 unapatia serikali mm-hmm. unafanya hivyo kila siku kila siku ya yeah. na wakati unafanya hivyo haujatoa expenses haujatoa ile pesa ulitumia kununua hiyo chakula yeah. haujatoa ile pesa utatumia kulipa wafanyakazi haujatoa ile pesa utatumia kulipa uh, rent and all that na kwa sababu ulipe turnover tax ni inamaanisha wewe sasa hautafanya ile tax yenye tunasema annual tax return and at the end of the year return, yeah. Yeah. so hiyo mimi naweza elezea badala ya kulipa turnover tax fanya the annual 
tax return yenye yeah. unafanya uh, at end of the year ndio upate hizi sales zako zote na upate chance ya kutoa expenses zako zote mm-hmm. ndio sasa utalipa tax kwa ile profit ni itabaki yeah. ndio sasa serikali sikule tax either kama wewe unakula losses yeah. kwa sababu kama hautakuwa umemake any profit basi ni kumaanisha hautalipa hata tawe tax yeah. Yeah. so hiyo ni njia moja ya uh, ku avoid taxes legally mm-hmm. yeah. Alafu pia there's this question ambayo pia nimeweza kupata hapa okay. uh, one of my viewers ananiuliza uh, what do you think is the best way to save money on tax like analipa tax lakini bado ana save pesa okay so um, saving is actually a culture that has to be developed through discipline mm-hmm. uh, na saving without a goal yeah inakuanga mbaya sana because i am sure most of our viewers have that thing we call akafulu mhm ndio na dani uko nani yeah yeah leka box yeah, uki, na kashimo ukipata ka coin unarusha hapo un, yeah, yeah. yeah unaweka hapo na mule ndani na unasema una save mm. lakini ikifika wakati labda mboga imeisha ama mm. mafuta imeisha unachukua kwa kamkebe una kaonoza na unatumia hiyo pesa so the first thing is to set a goal like i'm saving money so that i can buy a shamba i'm saving money so that i can go for higher education i'm yes. saving money mm-hmm. so that i can buy a laptop we yeah. come yeah. so the first thing is to make a goal yeah second thing is uh save as if it's an uh, a fixed expenditure yes na maanisha hivi wakati unapata mshahara kitu ya kwanza unafikiria anga ni nini ni rent rent lazima ulipe it's a fixed expenditure at mm-hmm. Uh, unajua lazima ulipe yes. second thing ni caro unajua lazima ulipe mm-hmm. bwana usifanye saving equal as if it is a fixed expenditure ati nikipata mshahara wangu yeah hii 2000 hii 3000 hii 10% percent ama whatever percentage yes. lazima ni niweke kando niweke kando na ndio upata hiyo discipline mm-hmm. unaweza fungua aidha kama hiyo tulikuwa tumeongea uh, insurance life insurance policy yes yenye mshahara wako inakatwa hata kabla ikufikie inapelekwa kwa hiyo saving yeah. ama standing order yes. uko na account yenye huwezi guza mshahara yako inawekwa hapo mm-hmm. alafu pia uh, that goal i mean yenye unataka kusevia ukisha ya achieve mm-hmm. then whatever you've achieved lazima ikuwe ni kitu yenye itakuongezea pesa pesa yeah like ukisave ndio ununue kiti ukalie kwa nyumba ni kama it's that is called saving for consumption. Yes. Umetumia na hiyo pesa haita irudi tena. Mm-hmm. Lakini ukisave ndio ununue laptop, ndio ufanye online job. Yeah. Then hicho kifaa ama hiyo saving process yako yote yes. imeleta manufaa. Yeah. So the those uh, basic things that you need to know for now. Ikuwe discipline. Yeah. Ukuwe na set objective, yes. ni goals. Na tatu ikuwe ni kama a fixed expenditure yani yeah. ni kitu lazima ufanye mm-hmm. naam uh, alafu the other thing is on uh, those people who are now employed uh, wanasema kwamba pia hao wanalipa tax at the end of uh, kila siku uh, ukipata wanapata mshahara that pay slip kuna mm-hmm. amount flani wanalipa na hawa make any profit like the pesa zao zinapotelea mm-hmm. so how do they also own ya kwamba mtu kama amekuwa employed analipa tax ama pia uh, for an employed person aweze kukosa kulipa tax legally so uh, yeah. uh, employed person yeah. uh, the law in taxation requires yeah. that the employer lazima atoe tax kabla kulipe mm-hmm. something we call pay pay as you earn, as you earn yeah. so mshahara yako inakufikianga yeah. kama ishatolewa tax yeah. na ni muhimu sana uh, kukuwa na maarifa kuhusu taxation kwa yes. sababu unapata yes uko employed yeah. but as a as a nurse as a teacher as a, a lawyer somewhere yes so, so kumaanisha knowledge ya taxation na my accounting hauna hauna but kuna vitu kadhaa zenye zinaweza kusaidia mm-hmm. kwanza ni sema if you are an employer yeah you have an employee who is uh, physically disabled yes the law requires that that person is exempted from taxation mm-hmm. so you are lazima kutia ama if you are the worker uh, you know you are physically disabled so that is one thing that you do 
check in your pay slip ukiangalia uone then uh, unafaa ku file a complaint yeah. so that is one person yenye mwenye anafaa ku exemptiwa mm-hmm. whether ko kwa biashara ama ko employed employed yeah. uh, other employees uh, there are several things that we call uh, tax relief mm-hmm. na tax deduction yeah uh, a tax deduction ni expense yenye unafanya lakini inatolewa kwa ile pesa ungefanyishwa tax Mm-hmm. Tuseme kama unapata mshahara ya 100,000. Yes. If there is no tax deduction, your tax will be on the 100,000. Yeah. Lakini like, tuseme unalipa you are saving towards your retirement. Mm-hmm. Now people normally save towards retirement. The the statutory requirement is through the NSSF. Yeah. Kama sasa hizi lazima ulipe a certain amount, a uh, minimum I think is 320 yeah. to NSSF. So hiyo pesa yenyewe unalipa towards your retirement inatolewa kwa mshahara kabla uchajiwe tax yeah so my advice would be this anything that has that allowance as a tax deduction mm-hmm. maximize on it yeah because it's still your saving yeah. so if you're saving towards your retirement save through nssf save through any other retirement benefit uh, authorized organization yeah. like an insurance company yeah ndio ile pesa unapigwa tax ipungue na pia ile pesa una ndio kia kibaya uzeni niongezeke mm-hmm. wow. kuna vitu kama hiyo insurance policy nimesema yes there is that relief again at every premium that you pay mm-hmm. 15% of it is also exempted yeah. from taxation yes so save towards uh, a li- because that is not compulsory mm-hmm. employer hata kwambia ki lazima ufanye hivyo yes. lakini ju unajua kuna siku za uzeni kuna watoto unafaa ufunze after certain age mm-hmm. save for them through an insurance or life insurance policy yes. whatever premium ile pesa ni unalipa monthly ikitolewa kwa pay slip yako pia ana certain amount of tax ina katwa ndio katilipe hiyo amount yes if you want to own a home there is what you call taking a mortgage again the mortgage interest is also an allowed yeah. deduction from your taxes so make sure you take those advantages of the deductions that are made yeah Uh, ndio badala ya ku save after umepata mshahara mm-hmm. save before upate mshahara yeah. ndio zikatwe kwa salary ndio tax yenye unalipa ipungue yeah. na pia watu wenye ni independent maybe contractors independent yeah. consultants yes. ukienda mahali kutafuta kazi uh, go there as a consultant yeah. don't go there and be put in the payroll with everyone else mm-hmm. because as a consultant the employer is required to deduct only 5% of whatever they are paying you mm-hmm. alafu kupatia the other amount unlike an employee whom they deduct 30% yeah. so as a consultant then you'll make your annual returns at the end of the year na utatoa all the expenses that you've had during the year ndio uweze ku reduce the amount of taxes the that you pay tax that you yeah. pay. so you saving uh, your money and at the same time you're reducing the taxes that you're paying so you're getting a bigger savings uh, in your pocket Okay fine. Now for the companies, can a company show a uh, positive net income and still goes bankrupt? Yes. Yeah. Uh you see bankruptcy yeah in very simple words mm-hmm. wakati tunaweza sema uh unga imezidi maji. In accounting terms, yeah, uh, we look at it this way. Yeah. Uh a company or uh, any business they are they are of Mm-hmm. is made up of assets. Yeah. Assets ni zile vitu kampuni inatumia kuendeleza biashara yake. Yeah. Like for instance if you have a taxi hiring company mm-hmm. the cars are the assets. Yes. So if these are the vehicles these are the assets of the company yeah. these are the assets yes. or the things that define that company. Mm-hmm. Now the second question that is asked how does the company acquire these assets? There are two ways. One the owner can inject his savings yes so kama ni owner amenunua hizi assets na pesa yake tunaita hiyo capital yeah. so the owner has used his savings to buy the assets of the company yeah. the second way that a, a company can acquire these assets is through debt mm-hmm. you can a bank chukue loan chukue loan you acquire yeah. the assets mm-hmm. so bankruptcy can, so in your books of accounts lazima that balance ikuwe at these assets mm-hmm. equals what you used to acquire them kama ni pesa yako yenye ulitumia mm-hmm. na pesa yenye uliomba so yes. if these assets are worth 1 million you borrowed 800000 yeah 
then there has to be another 200,000 another 200,000 that we inject now yes okay now problem ina kuja hapa ama mahali unga inazidi maji na kuja hapa yeah. wakati hii equation yenye tumesema inakataa kubalance inakataa kubalance ati yeah. uko na assets lakini bila ulipata ulizipata mm-hmm. especially hii part ya debt yeah. iko juu iko juu uko na assets worth 1 million yes lakini madeni zako ni 2 million mm-hmm. siapo unaona sasa unga imezidi maji imezidi ya yeah, maji yamezidi unga maji <laughs> <laughs> because in any case even if you want to sell these assets yeah. you cannot be able to repay yeah. this debt mm-hmm. na hiyo inafanyaka kwa sababu gani one uh, kuchukua deni ziko na very high interest yes uh, unaenda kwa Shylock unachukua deni mm-hmm. deni yenye maybe ni unaambiwa ni 10% every day yeah. so kumaanisha the uh, liabilities ama debts zako zitakuwa juu zitakuwa juu second thing una chukua deni lakini badala ya kuifanyisha kazi yenye ulisema unaitoa unaifanyisha kazi zingine zako okay now to go back to your question yeah so it's possible that e kampuni sasa wakati inafanya biashara zake with taxi hire uh, business mm-hmm. at the end of the day they make that 1000 shillings mm-hmm. na expenses are 20000 yeah so if you take the income of that minus the expenses of 20 you get a profit of 10 10 so it is yeah. making a profit lakini hii pande nyingine ni inaenda bankrupt imeenda bankrupt okay yeah. fine because of time yeah. kwa sababu uh, hii topic finance it's a very shallow topic na tunaweza kuongea hadi kesho no. lakini sasa kwa ajili ya muda ningependa sana uweze kutuambia maneno yako ya mwisho kwa sababu the questions ambazo nilikuwa nazo they are very many na labda tutatafuta wakati mwingine tena tuweze kualika tuweze kuongea about the myth and the misconception yes. how to stay on those legatory leg- services yes. ama zile rules ambazo zinawekwa pale user you as an accountant uweze kutuambia hizo vitu zote lakini sasa kwa dakika mbili ningependa uweze kutuambia jinsi ya yule mtazamaji anaweza kuona ya kwamba analipa tax anajisimamia vizuri ama kama vile vile umesema anaweza avoid kulipa tax legally mm-hmm. na asifuatwe na serikali yoyote ama na mtu yoyote kuona ya kwamba amekunjwa ama kukuja kuchukua vitu zake saa in less than one in less than one minute tell us your parting shot tuambie tukupate wapi nini haswa unafanya sawa so, yeah. na sim mamlaka tv Uh, gospel this yeah. I'll base my closing argument on the Bible yeah and in the book of first kings chapter 3 yes when god appeared to solomon in a dream and asked solomon nataka nikufanyie nini yes and solomon or we say we generally say that solomon asked for wisdom yeah but the bible says that solomon asked for wisdom and understanding yes and in the book of proverbs those key things are talked about so much yes. and what is wisdom wisdom is the combination of knowledge yeah. and understanding yeah na ndio sasa pia mimi ni kuwe maybe fluent kwa mambo ya finance yeah i would say i have wisdom in finance yeah meaning i have both knowledge and understanding in this field yeah so pia um um tazamaji wetu yeah get wisdom also in these things yeah mm-hmm. like if you watch the breakfast show uh, with Derek for instance there are so many things that you learn yeah if you go to uh, your maybe devices for just don't just go for entertainment mm-hmm. also go and be educated yeah uh, i have an organization called ufalme wetu yes uh, my number is 0745 2147 yes and we discuss this kind of things we Uh, we try to bring uh, entrepreneurship finance taxation all this kind of knowledge yeah. but on a practical uh, way in a practical way sio vile tulisoma kwa shule unaambiwa this is this it is this is how it does so you got the knowledge but you didn't get the understanding mm-hmm. so how uh, kupata wisdom so in all ways get wisdom uh, if you in any other field try not to get wisdom in the area of finance yes because so, as we said at the beginning This is the hub of everything else. Asante. Asante sana. Thank you so much. That has been Mr. Joseph Joseph Kanani, an accountant. Uh, kwa kwa mtazamaji, ni fursa hii umechukua fursa hii umeweza kupata hiyo elimu. Uone jinsi utakuwa unalipa tax. Tulipe tax tuweze kujitegemea na pia tuweze tuone kwamba tunajiendeleza kama nchi sisi wote. Na ma hapo ndio nitakuwa natia kikomo kwa sababu ya muda sitakuwa ninasoma comments na naambiwa kwamba Uh, muda umeweza kukwisha 
ni kwako wewe jukumu la sasa ni lako ukiwa mfanya biashara pale Ah, ile discipline ambayo tumeweza kuambiwa the discipline in your work uweze kuona kwamba ile profit ambayo unapata have that saving culture uweze kusave uweze kuchiona kwamba ile pesa unaweza kuzitumia pale mbeleni kama ni retirement benefits ama pia zitakuwa zinakusaidia kulipa paka kulipa karo ya, ya wanafunzi ama ya wanafunzi pale nyumbani na kule shuleni pia na hapo ndio nitatia kikomo kumbuka kuwasiliana nasi kupitia mitandao zetu za kijamii that is on Facebook and uh, we also have a YouTube account that is Mamlaka Television fika pale send us your comment tutumie message utuambie nini haswa kinakufurahisha ama umejifunza nini kutokana na haya maujiano ya finance or paying tax well um, tatia, nitakuwa natia kikomo hapo lakini itakuwa na kuacha na vipindi ambavyo itakuwa inakuburudisha pale that is cartoon editorial pale we have cartoon and other other important wale wa lunch service kumbuka lunch service pia itakuwa inaanza kuanzia saa sita hadi saa nane uh, bishop atakuwa na minister this week pia tutakuwa na bishop atakuwa na minister tuweze kuona kwamba tunapata elimu ya uokovu pia niruhusu ni ni, ku, ni kuage tuweze kupatana kesho anapopenda Mwenyezi Mungu kwa wewe naweza kukuombea kwamba wiki hii ikawa wiki ya mafanikio na baraka sana kwako bye bye tuonane kesho majaliwa